हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द स्मार्ट डीसीआर सिस्टम नाउ बेसिकली इट्स द ऑनलाइन बिल्डिंग प्लान अप्रूवल सिस्टम व्हिच इज डेवलप्ड बाय आवर गवर्नमेंट एंड दैट इट विल बी यूज बाय द आर्किटेक्ट्स एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स फॉर द प्लान अप्रूवल सिस्टम every city in the world is continuously evolving and developing to meet its citizens needs an authority power by the government will be controlling the development of cities to have a harmonious as well as infrastructural and technological superior living for all now the authority will lay out a set of rules to be followed for every new development as well as regulating the existing development now the method is to receive the set of engineering plans related to the each proposal study them in detail and extract the basic information required for example like built up area spacing between the adjacent building height etc etc and after matching them with the rules lay out by the government authorities and it can be go for prior approval or ask for certain modification to be done in the plan now for larger cities this becomes a cumbersome process owing to the large amount of application received and manually calculating various areas totaling and then coming to conclusion so that's why smart dcr comes in picture so for your reference what i have done is you can visit the website which is looking something like this smart solution for urban local bodies as you can observe over here it comes with a certain login password so you have to register yourself and then based on the login credentials you can apply your drawings for prior approval now let's take a look for the function how this particular software works so basically it's a tool which will which will help us to speed up the process of building plan complies check to speed up the process of building plan complies check in accordance with the building bylaws of respective councils now right now once you log in over there now see every particular state has different categories of authorities based on the cities for example in gujarat here i have mentioned few authorities as per the list now every state has its development authorities based on the number of cities it contains for example here i have mentioned few cities list which is based on gujarat right now see when you go into the smart dcr segment basically over here we have two categories of control regulations now once you go to the smart dcr website segment and log in you have basically two category of regulations the first one is the gdcr general development control regulations and another one is pcpir that is petroleum chemicals and petrochemicals investment region so once you log in here you have to fill up all your basic details and the category of the industry are specified as i mentioned the first one is the gdcr and second one is gi dc pcpi r now what are these industries last understand that first so basically what do you understand by the general development control regulations now basically it deals with the it is a set of systematic approach of regulation to decide the two interpretation of the plan proposals parking norms commercials etc for example for various categories of construction regulations like road widths for residential commercial or industrial segments right minimum area of building units marginal distance between two structures height of floors etc so all these regulations are mentioned in this particular gdci in this particular gdcr that is general development and control regulation now the another one is pcpir now pcpir is one of the most important ecosystem to propel india's growth that is petroleum chemicals and petrochemical investment region now in gujarat now see under the 2007 policy four pcpir rs were proposed 
एट द हेज गुजरात विशाखापट्टनम दैट इज लोकेटेड इन आंध्र प्रदेश पाराडीप ओडिशा एंड कडलोर दैट इज लोकेटेड इन तमिलनाडु सो पी सी पी आर रोल एज टू फैसिलिटेट द ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ केमिकल पेट्रोकेमिकल एंड अदर प्रोडक्शन इट इज प्रोवाइडेड विथ पॉर्ट नियर गल्फ ऑफ खंबात एंड रोरो फेरी सर्विस विच इज मेंटेन बाई जी एम बी दैट इज गुजरात मेरीटाइम बॉर्ड सो दीज आर टू बेजिक इंडस्ट्रियल कैटेगरी स्पेसिफाइड फॉर आवर गुजरात रीजन ना वंस यू लॉग इन एज यू ऑब्जर्व ओवर हेयर वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द बेजिक इन आवर बेजिक एप्लीकेबल इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू दी आवर बिल्डिंग प्लान ना फॉर और गुजरात सेगमेंट वी हैव बेसिकली टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ इंडस्ट्री द फर्स्ट वन इज द जी डी सी आर एंड सेकेंड वन इज पी सी पी आई आर नाउ हाउ डज दिस सॉफ्टवेयर वर्क नाउ बेसिकली दिस पर्टिक्युलर सिस्टम इज डेवलप फॉर द बिल्डिंग प्लान अप्रूवल सिस्टम सो इन दिस केस द सिस्टम इज डिजाइन फॉर आर्किटेक्ट्स टू रजिस्टर एंड सबमिट द ड्रॉइंग एंड गेट द रेफरेंस नंबर ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन second important thing this system is designed to allow an architect to submit the drawing and check the status of the drawing online third one is the software will facilitate communication between the architects via email public can also view the status of their file online it also contains a relational database having list of architect details and the architect can also get their scrutiny report online using their reference number so basically how it will work now see in this particular when you submit your drawing this process will scrutinize the submitted drawing by comparing with the basic rules regulation developed by comparing with the basic building bylaws and it will generate the reports now the uploaded drawing should be in the dwg format and architects can check their drawing status whether successfully submitted or written back through a mail so it has two stages pre check and scrutiny engine so in the first segment it will check the drawing format as per the usual manual and also the integrity of the polylines now how software works so the main objective is to bring transformation in the plan scrutiny process system with speed accuracy consistency and transparency in the entire scrutiny process to achieve the goal it is proposed to automate the planning scrutiny process by customization with smart dcr now the automation helps to increase the productivity and accuracy of the drawing results so basically it will speed up the scrutiny process easier public interaction with online system and it will reduce the time consumption and manual errors of scrutiny process savings on the infrastructure required to store paper drawings savings on the infrastructure required to store the paper drawings and easy to retrieve data since the data is stored in the digital format so this process will scrutinize the submitted drawing by comparing it with the local authority building bylaws and building bylaws and norms and generate the reports 